Assalamu alaikum. Uh, today uh, we will start the uh, second lab that is a sampling, aliasing, and discrete convolution. So, first uh, topic is uh, what is sampling and why do we need sampling? So, I want uh, the uh, last student uh, who is uh, who risk class. Uh, please uh, tell me your ID. Last student who respond in the last class. Sir. Yes, me, sir. Thank you. Yes, 91. Okay. So, okay. The next ID is 92. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes. Uh, can you tell me what is the, uh, like, the, what is the purpose of sampling? Sir, to, to make a uh, discrete time signal. Discrete time signal. Why do you need to convert that? Uh, sir, because uh, uh, from continuous time signal to uh, make a discrete time signal, we need uh, a value uh, after some uh, time. We need we need to take the value. You, you need to sample that. Okay. Yes, sir. But my uh, question is that why do you need to do that type of sampling? Reason. Uh, don't know, sir. Yes, Anyone? sir. The digital is the signal. Yes, to make uh, the digitalization yes, of the signal. But sir, why do you uh, need to, to, to avoid losing information, yeah, right. sir. Mo uh, anyone else? Like we are talking in the uh, analog domain or continuous domain, okay? But in the uh, computer, uh, did they understand the analog domain? No, no sir. No. So, but human being, we can interact in the analog domain, okay? That means all the audible signal or the, uh, the we, we are speaking in, in the form of analog signal, okay? But for the calculation or for the manipulation, uh, the we cannot use the analog domain to uh, do the uh, manipulation or uh, like the uh, calculation or transmission, like for uh, uh, for uh, our case, like I'm speaking from a distance place, and you are also listening my voice. So that means this data has been transmitted through the. Uh, so my voice that is converted to the discrete domain, uh, the, uh, then it again converted back to the uh, analog domain, which is audible to you, isn't it? Yes, sir. So the purpose is to make your analog signal. The sampling is the first step of discretization. So in the sampling, the uh, detailed domain so that you can do some operation, some manipulation, some transmission. Okay, this yes, is the sir. purpose of sampling. It's not like to convert. Why do you need to convert? That is the reason, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Is there any criteria 92? Is there any criteria uh, for sampling? Yes, sir. Sorry, yeah. sorry it, it have to be uh, that uh, greater than twice the uh, main uh, frequency of the analog, analog signal. Yes, twice the main actually is not the main actually uh, say for example our voice okay okay uh, uh, like it cons consists of the signal from 0 to 4 kHz. like if i speak loudly the frequency will be one type if i speak slowly the frequency will be another type okay uh, then for pronouncing different type of later the frequency will be different type. that means my no yes sir so what will be the sample uh, sampling frequency Sir, the, that highest frequency. The maximum is, is that uh, answer will be appropriate if you say the rate or the uh, constant of the sampling is that your sampling frequency should be the twice of the maximum of the original frequency. Isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. So is it clear to all of you? Like this uh, theory has been covered in your class. So I I will not go deeper into discuss uh, discussing this theory. Okay, now ninety two. When the area uh, uh, what is aliasing? So that is the uh, nicest uh, frequency is the the minimum frequency uh, which is 
required to do the sampling like the uh, if you don't follow the uh, minimum requirement like the two into fs so that aliasing will be occur so what is aliasing uh, sorry sir A anyone who can give the answer what is aliasing sir, uh, aliasing uh so it, it causes a false lower frequency component to appear in the sample data okay yes yes uh, the answer is uh, pretty close so that means that you will get some early, uh, uh, unwanted frequencies not always losing in the original signal isn't it the answer should be like that that means say for example you are uh, i'm speaking in the fourth lowers if uh, aliasing uh, occurs there maybe i'll get one two clears component one four clears component one three clears component like that way is it okay yes so sir. that means yes, some sir. some unwanted frequencies will be there so i will discuss this aliasing uh, like the this diagram in a detail while i am discussing about the code okay so don't look at uh, at the discrete time convolution just look at the code of code of this one okay so i will give 10 minutes to all of you to go through this the effect of sampling and aliasing code and uh, i'll give too much bonus who can explain that to me okay is it okay so you uh, is it okay and uh, is it okay to all of you yes, sir. So please go through this yes, code and try to explain that to me okay uh, so uh, uh, you can see one unknown function. This is the only unknown function FFT. FFT is to convert from the uh, discrete time, uh, sorry, for, uh, from time domain to the frequency domain. Okay, this is the transformation. So this is the unknown function. I believe so. Other than that, everything is known to you. Okay, okay I am muting myself. Is there any volunteer who will discuss? Uh, okay, Galipai, yes, ek two, ek two. Yes, Sadman Abid, are you here? Sadman. Yes, sir. Okay, I have increased the deadline for your 4616 four, assignment of lab 4 up to the Saturday and for oh, section A it is up to one. So okay. please inform all the students okay. and also inform the other sections. Okay, Yes, uh, yes. Uh, who will be the volunteer? Sir, I can try, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, second. Sir, sir uh, <coughs> first clear on close all, it will uh, clear all the uh, remaining functions running on the map. Then any code. Uh, okay, before that, uh, please uh, give me some moment. The uh, thing is that how many frequencies are there? So three frequencies. Three different frequencies are there, isn't yes, it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three different frequencies. The frequencies is one frequency, one k. 3k and 6k. 6K. That means yes, sir. in the time domain, it look like this. So this is the mixture of three frequencies, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is the 1k, 3k and 6k. 3K and 6K. Okay. Yes, this is in which domain? Uh, which axis? This is time, time domain, sir. Time domain. Yes, so sir. Now if I change this to the frequency domain, how it look like? Sir, it will uh, it will be sam sampled, sir. No, no, not sampled. This is oh, the original sir. signal. Sir, it yes, will sir. give us. Like at, yes, sir. at 1k, 3k, and 6k, and 6K yes, as sir. well as the minus 1k, minus 3k, and minus 6k, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes or no? Yes, sir. So this is the yes, original sir. signal, and this is the uh, frequency, frequency domain. domain. Yes, sir. Of the original signal, isn't it? Yes, sir. So actually that means we are actually plotting this one in the time domain and this one will be in the frequency domain. now this is the original signal now i have to do the sampling what is the sampling frequency you sir yes sir there are two sampling frequencies 18k and 5k one is, that, one is uh, 18k and then one is the 5k 5k yes so, sir uh, uh, there, uh, will there be any effect of aliasing for this one uh no sir sir but why? Aliasing will be there for 5k. Yes, sir. No, no. Wh why there will, uh, will be no effect of aliasing here? Because, sir, 18k is uh, has much the, the, difference yeah, from it 6k. It has the maximum frequency of 6k. 
yes, so sir. 12 of 6k is 12k yes sir so which is far greater than the 12k and yes, the for the second case there will be aliasing aliasing okay? yes sir okay. okay now actually i want to move to the canvas because this is not the canvas so let me it is uh, up to this point i believe uh, all of you understand these things isn't it is uh, already been covered in your class so is there any question no sir no so you understand the frequency uh, the original signal and frequency domain of the original signal okay so yes, at sir. the end at the uh, doing the uh, fourier uh, sorry doing the sampling after that we have to retrieve the original signal isn't it because yes, we the uh, we can only hear the original signal we, we, we don't understand the sample version isn't it yes sir so that means again this is our original signal now we have to do the sample, uh, sample. so ts will be the 1 by fs isn't it yes sir so that means this, this one 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 so so what is the distance between them sir uh, ts ts so this is the ts this is the 2 of ts this is the 3 of ts this is the 4 of ts isn't it yes sir yes and the consecutive gap between them is the ts okay yes sir so that means now you don't have your original signal you have the sample signal sample version of the original signal so that means this will become discrete isn't it yes sir this will become discrete okay now tell me what is the frequency of this one sir uh sir 1 by ts not 1 by ts so 1 by uh, 1 by ts is the sampling frequency that means the distance between them is the 1 by ts yes, no, so 1 by fs is the distance between them the frequency is the original signal frequency why right? because yes. this is the uh, sampled from the original signal so this is the 1k 3k and 6k isn't it yes, this is the 1k 3k 6k this is the 1k 3k 6k every every yes, thing sir. has the signal will be. yes sir yes why yes, because sir. this is the original signal and uh, uh, sample is uh, samples means actually you don't change the frequency of the original signal actually you are sampled the time axis you are not taking all the signal you are actually doing the some sample period okay yes, that sir. means the ts sample period okay now uh, uh, i believe you already remember the, the time domain of the sample uh, original signal is this yes sir and the frequency domain is look like this isn't it 1k 3k 6k, 6K minus 1k, 1K minus 3k minus, minus 6k, 6K. Minus 6K. so this yes, is sir. the original signal so this is the time domain of the who signal sampled signal isn't it yes sir so you will you will see that the in each repetition like in each ts you have the uh, frequency of 1k 3k and 6k in each ts you have the 1k frequency of 1k 3k and 6k isn't it yes sir in each ts so now if you convert them to the frequency domain so uh, your ts will become the fs isn't it yes sir so you have zero into fs you have one into fs you have two into fs like this way in the positive axis uh, positive infinity and you have the minus one into fs minus so you have the real multiple of the fs isn't it yes sir two into fs why because this ts will be corresponding to this fs this ts will be corresponding yes, to this sir. fs this ts will be corresponding to the next fs yes, sir. isn't it okay now of the zero multiple like here what are the frequencies that are lies here 1k 3k and 6k so you have 1k 3k and 6k here 1k 3k minus 3k minus 6k again you have the because in this position the frequency is 1k 3k and 6k so you will have the uh, 1k 3k 6k minus 1k minus 3k minus 6 isn't it like this yes, way. sir so the same signal will be repeating isn't it yes sir 
around the centering the fs okay now uh, uh now we are taking our some fs value f is equal to 18k now we are doing the uh, pull uh, like the calculation for f is equal to 8 okay yes sir so this will be the zero i am taking only positive side zero into 18 this one and this one will be the one into eight is it okay so you know that the, your signal will be repeating centering the fs so yes, you have 1k here 3k 6k minus 1k minus 3k minus 6k now yes, centering sir. 18 18 plus 1 will be 19k yes, sir. 18 plus 3 will be 21k 18 plus 6 will be 24k okay 18 minus 1 will be 17k 18 minus 3 will be 15k 18 minus 6 will be 12k, 12K. is it okay is there any overlap between the signals? No, sir. No, no sir. No. Now, what will happen? This, this is the sample version. So, this will be processed in, uh, inside your, uh, like the device, digital device. Now, in your receiver, uh, receiving end, when you are hearing through uh, your microphone, actually what is done, actually it will pass it through the locus filter, whose cutoff frequency will be the 6K. Okay. Then, actually, if it is passed through the locus filter, with the 6k what you are getting here 1k 3k 6k minus 1k minus 3k minus 6k and then actually this is the frequency domain if you convert back to the time domain you are actually uh, it, it not original. Original. yes sir isn't it so the idea so now if you, you don't have the aliasing you can see that the, you are retrieving your original signal isn't it yes sir yes sir is it okay okay now with the aliasing with the fs equal to 5k uh, now you, you can see the scenario with the fs equal to this will be 0 into 5k this will be 1 into 5k isn't it because your fs is 5k now with 1k 3k this will be minus 3k minus 6k is it okay centering the zero i'm uh, plotting uh, representing my original signal again centering the 5k i have to again extrapolate my original signal so 5 plus 1 will be how much yes, 6 then 5 plus 2, uh, 3, this will be 8k. Then there sir, will be... Amra, sir, sir, plus code to see, can you take to add code to see? This is our original yes, signal, isn't it? This this center is my FS. So when FS is 0, this is the original signal. Yes, if it is 18, so you have to plus add. Sir, it is, is it like time shifting and frequency shifting? It's not like or that. scaling. Actually, this is the original signal will be replicated. Uh, original signal will be repli uh, will be doing again centering your FS. In each FS, you have how many frequencies? This is one K, three K, and six K, isn't it? Yes, sir. In this TS, how many frequencies are there? One K, three K, and six K, isn't it? Yes, sir. Uh, why is not clear? Please uh, uh, speak, uh, uh, speak a bit louder. Uh, 15, 115, please. Sir, why it is centering around the FS? Uh, FS2, FS3, FS5? Because actually in, in the time domain, you are sample with the TS. Yes, sir. You are getting it? Because in the time domain, you are uh, sample with the TS. And 1 by TS is your FS. Is it okay? 115? Sir, I'm not clear about it. Okay, uh, Galibay, I want to add one thing here. Uh, 115? Yes, sir. Okay, thing is that from uh, time domain to frequency domain for this type of uh, non-periodic signal and uh, you, need, you need Fourier transform. Okay. So obviously there is a specific uh, equations for all these but that has not been covered in your theory yet 
but the concept you already know the sampling analyzing so that we are we are taking this lab are you getting me so mainly in your theory whenever you will see uh, Fourier transform and at that time you will see sampling uh, and if not maybe we will also give you some uh, material so that you can see obviously there are some equations for this it is repeating actually okay, if sir. you see that thing that these things will be more clearer okay okay sir actually this come from the equations okay but the reason is that uh, in the time domain you are doing the sampling isn't it yes or no yes sir and what is the sampling frequency so if is yes if is so that means uh, your time period ts is the 1 by fs isn't it yes sir in the time domain you are seeing that the, your ts is repeating after each ts distance like the distance between them is ts the distance between them is ts distance between them is ts so you are doing the sampling isn't it yes sir so when you, this is the in the time domain so when you convert in the frequency domain this ts will be corresponding to the fs isn't it yes sir so that's why your fs is also repeating is it okay okay sir and uh, okay this will be more clear uh, as your rules have said when you are uh, uh, learning the equation that will be clear but actually uh, we, we don't go deeper to the equations here in the lab okay sir so uh, that for that you, you have to wait okay and uh, uh, around your uh, ts you can see that the, in the ts actually you have three different frequencies in each ts you have the original frequency so when you are actually plotting centering the fs you have also the original frequencies okay that's why centering your fs uh, you have the replication of the original frequencies uh, yes Sakit, sir you got your yes, sir. Uh, around in your ts you have the your original frequencies okay now in, in this position in this center position what is my uh, original frequency zero so zero so the gap between the zero and one is how much one one Isn't yes it? sir so now if you shift it to the 18k so this will become 18 this will become 18 plus 1 19 this will become uh, 18 plus 3 21 you are getting it now this yes, position has been uh super uh, super uh super uh imposed with the 18k now it is clear so this will become the 8 i yes, adding on why it is subtracting yes sir yes sir is it clear to all of you? Uh, 115? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Okay, now with the shift, uh, 5k as well. So you can see the, the, uh, uh, the this one 1k, 3k, and 6k. This will be shifted to the five yes sir if this is shift to the five if this is five so five plus one this will be the six k five yes, plus three this will be the eight k eight k sir five minus one this will be at four k you have a spike five minus three at two k you have a spike uh, uh, and five minus six at minus one k you have a, another spike now you you can see that the lines, isn't it? Yes, yes or no? Sir. So now you know that the, your original signal has the cutoff frequency of 6k. Now, if you pass it through a low pass filter of this one, 6k, so you can see that the, uh, like the uh, 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 you have your original frequencies, isn't it? 1k, 3k, 6k, isn't it? But yes, Apart from your original signal, you have two unwanted signals. Yes, sir. 2K, 4K. 2K yes, and 4K. So this is the effect of aliasing. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Is it clear to all of you? So this is the uh, main purpose of the this one. The main purpose of uh, uh, like here, I, I can see that the point uh, you have the uh, frequency, your sample frequency is greater than two times of the. F of F max, that means the maximum frequency of the original signal, 
you don't have the aliasing effect. And when that is not happening, then you have the aliasing effect. Is it okay to all of you? Yeah. And in the diagram, you can see here in the figure. So this is with the 18k sampling frequency. So if you look at this is the original 1k, 3k, 6k, and centering the 18k, 18 minus 1. So this will become 17k, 18 minus 3. This will, this will become 15k, 18 minus 6. This is become 12k. Yes. Is it okay? To all of you so yes, now sir. if you pass it through the low pass filter you see there, there is no aliasing okay now now you can see here that this is the effect of aliasing so i have already discussed that uh, the this is original 1k this is original 3k this is Now, centering the 5k, 5 uh, minus 1, you have a 4k. That is the due to aliasing, isn't it? It's not original signal, the 4k. This is due to the minus 1 from 5. And this is from minus 3 from the 5. So this is the 2k. So these two signal, this is come due to the aliasing. Is it okay, Sakib? Yes, sir. Is there any question regarding aliasing? Okay, Sakib, now quickly, uh, please explain the Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Sir, so here uh, n equal to 0 to 99 uh, and uh, there are three frequencies f1, f2 and f3 and two sampling frequency 18k and 5k. Uh, then sir, uh, we are plotting the graph sir x1, x2 and x3 and uh, so, so the, is, it the, is it the original graph or is it the sample version of the graph? Uh, sample X1. version of the graph sir. Yes, yes. This is the sample version of the graph. Okay. Then yes, sir. So then we are adding all the uh, three signals and putting it in X and uh, then we are plotting the graph. Uh, okay, sir, after sub the graph, after the graph, please. Yes, then. Sir, sir uh, in subplot 311, we are uh, plotting uh, the first uh, frequency, uh, the first signal. And in the plotting, there is line width 2. That means uh, the width of the line will be 2. And uh, x lim equal to 0 to 20. That means x axis limit will be 0 to 20. And uh, then uh, after uh, uh, doing that, there will be subplot 312. That means we will be plotting here the second signal. And uh, this is the same. The x limit, limit of the x axis is 0 to 20. Uh, then subplotting 313, that means the third signal. and uh, here is also the limit is 0 to 20. Uh, the grid on, sir, grid on means the ceramic to Sir, Grid on means there will be the grid. Yes, sir, yes. the grid lines oh, will be appear. Appear, yes, sir. Uh, sir, in the X FFT, it will, uh, it will convert the time domain to the frequency domain, as you have said. And uh, then in the figure 3, we will plot the x that is the sum of the three signals oh. yes. and okay. uh, so this is this is without aliasing effect the yes. next that is same with the aliasing effect isn't it yes sir okay so uh, is there any question regarding this and Rubel, please mark the id of uh, 138 okay? okay okay if there is no question then we will move to the discrete convolution so like you can see that the sampling is easy okay it's not difficult as well as the code is not so difficult there is only one unknown function that is the fft okay fft means fast fourier transform that is used to transform uh, the from the time domain to the frequency domain okay is it okay yes sir okay now i have a about question this kit. yes please sir uh, in uh, the plotting of F uh, fft graph uh, mm -hmm. In the x-axis, you uh, we took uh, n into fs length, uh, length, of, length of n, isn't it? Actually, yes, that, that that is the reason because you know that the n into time of your axis that will go more than 18k. So actually, if we are dividing by the length, then actually we uh, it is uh, better to visualize the figure. Is it okay? Because uh, n into that one it, it will be go more than the our range. It's only for the demonstration purpose, like this one. 
uh, about this line, isn't it? The above line plot of this line, isn't it? You are yes, talking sir. about yes, 109, yes, is it? Yes. So actually, this is n. N means that you know the uh, the sample uh, number of sample, and then this is fs, and this length by n that will actually limit the it from the one k to eighteen k. Is it okay to all of you? Otherwise, uh, this uh, fs with eighteen k, this will go eighteen k into like when it is five hundred, so it will go out of bound. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Is it okay? If I don't divide it by the length of n, so what happened? Actually, it will uh, limit from uh, zero to eighteen k for visualization purpose. Is it okay? I believe so. Is there any more question? Sir, can you explain line twenty eight again? A fifty line A fifty. Sir, line twenty eight of the code. Yes, sir. A fifty, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A fifty. A fifty A fifty is a function uh, to transform from the uh, time domain to the frequency domain. This is the fast Fourier transform. Actually, about the detail of this one, actually you will learn when you are doing the DSP, digital signal processing. Okay, is it okay? But for time being, uh, you should uh, remember that this is for trans uh, transform of the time domain to the frequency domain. This is the algorithm. Right. About line twenty-eight. Okay. Any any more question? No, sir. No. no sir. So okay, okay. Discrete convolution. What is the purpose of the time? Uh, sorry, uh, discrete time uh, con uh, convolution. What is the purpose of discrete time convolution? What is the usefulness of this one? This is time convolution. Get the output signal, sir. Uh, how, how we can get the output signal? Uh, Ninety-two. Sakib. Uh, sir, uh, we have to know the impulse response of the system. system? Then, then if we do the convolution with the input, input we'll get the output we'll get signal. The output signal. Yes, yes. Uh, thank you. Uh, your answer is uh, totally correct. So that means if uh, H N is the impulse response, X N is the input. So your y n will be x n x n h n n minus k. No, the, when you you are doing this one, this will be the yes, k sir. will be minus infinity to infinity. This will be the x k. This will be the h n minus n minus k. N minus k. Okay. 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 So for this one, okay, I am uh, I try to. I know this. Uh, you know this one uh, pretty clearly, but actually, I am taking x n. X n is like look like this way. At zero, you have two. At one, you have two. Okay. And h n is look like at zero, you have one. At one, you have two. At two, mm -hmm. you have three. So I will do the discrete convolutions. Okay. So first, I have to do the I, I I have to uh, do the time reversal, so this will be one. This will be two. This will be three. Okay. Now I have to swap it from the minus infinity to the plus infinity, isn't it? Yes, yes or no? Yes. yes. So okay. So it, it will reset from the minus infinity and it will go to the plus infinity. But when it will get the first output of y. When it will in uh, the uh, like the in zero uh, in, in, in zero, zero value, like when they are collide is each, each other, okay? When there is a intersection between them, so that means this will be zero, this will be minus one, this will be minus two. So in this position, I will get my first output, isn't it? Yes. So yes. this will be my H N, which will be slide over the minus infinity to the infinity and my. Will be zero at zero. You have two value at one. You have two value. So what will be the so y zero? Two into one. So this will be two. So y one will be now. This will be shift. So this will become zero to one. This will uh, shift one step. So next step will be one. This will be zero. This will be minus one. Isn't it? Yes or no? Yes. It will shift 
like uh, one step so it will move in one step isn't it so this will become one this will become zero and this will become minus one is it okay to all of you yes sir. yes sir. yes so then uh, how many uh, coincidence are there two two, two. so uh, so what will be the multiplication into two into two two into two plus twenty one into one so this will become six so yes, now again this will move one step so this will become two this will become one this will become zero, zero. so now what will be the y two three into two plus three into two three into two plus two, two into two. two that will be ten isn't it yes sir so next the next this will again become two this will become three so, so one. how many overlap are there one this will become three inch. then it will move again so what will be the next one next this will become two this will be three this will be four all that will go up to the plus infinity that means there are only four overlap position the position is y0 y1 y2 and y3 okay so okay now uh, you will look at the code of the discrete convolution so the, i have to just get the output okay okay about this the convolution about this one okay so for this particular one i will again give the 10 minutes to uh, 10 minutes to you like i will again ask the question at uh, 12 so take the example xn equal to 0 2 and 2 and hn equal to this is for the hn this is for the xn equal to 0 1 and 2 this is the 1 this is the 2 this is the 3 explain this code okay you have again 10 minutes to think about this one okay is it okay yes yes sir okay okay uh, so i'm muting myself if you have any question ask me Rubil, is it okay yes it is okay it is okay Salam alaikum sir yes sir i can alvi yes sir okay please alvi yes sir <laughs> sir uh, in the third line we first input the uh, first value of x so uh, uh, not first value of x this is a lower time index of the x so yes sir yes sir what will be the input here this will be zero yes sir, isn't it be zero input here will be zero isn't it yes sir and how will be the next line input for the 43 number line input two, two. it will be the this will be two, two. okay and so this is the finding a length yes yes go ahead, uh, go ahead and explain sir then uh, it, yes sir then it will create an array of nx nx min and nx uh, max it will create a array which is separated by one interval so so okay okay let me uh, tell it in one line so actually this this lines is done to represent this one this signal isn't it yes, and sir. next this line uh, is to be done to represent this one so i think everyone is clear about these things okay okay now tell me about the line from line 56 Alvi, yes, sir. From line fifty-six. Uh, sir, from in line fifty-six, we are uh, creating the minimum value of both x and y, and we are adding them, and we are creating an array, and it ends at maximum. So that means here you actually determine the what will be the index of y, or what the, what will be the length of y, isn't it? Yes. So sir. for our case, the length is from zero to three. Okay. So we have to determine the length. Okay. 
so actually this line is uh, summing the lower index of x and h and the summing the upper index of x and h and then we are creating the matrix so this will be from 0 1 2 3 isn't it yes, yes sir. or no yes sir and then actually what will be the length length here will be 4 and what will be uh, this one this one will be y will be all zeros isn't this yes sir yes or no yes sir and then the z will be all zeros again so is it clear to all of you like yes, line sir. by line i am going line by line yes here. sir clear sir so i believe this is what is the purpose of fast for loop alvin sir i couldn't hear you sir for purpose of fast for loop this for loop what is the purpose of this for loop so that means it will run what is the length of x the length of x will be 2 isn't it so it will run from 1 and 2 yes sir. so y 1 will be replaced with the value of x 1 isn't it yes sir so the value of x 1 is 2 2 0 0 isn't it this yes. will be the output of y after this for loop and what will be the z z is, is still 0 0 0 0 0 okay yes sir okay. now we'll move to the next next follow okay up to now i think there is no question about understanding yes sir okay so now for this one so, uh, what is the length of h the length of h will be 3 so this will be 1 2 3 that means this follow will run how many times three times three times so q will be h1 what is the h1 value if you remember h is 1 2 3 the input of the h is 1 2 3 yes sir. so h1 will be 1 yes sir. and what is your y y is 2 2 0 0 so your w will be 1 into 2 2 0 0 isn't it yes sir w is q into y so q is 1 and y is 2 2 0 0 so what will be the w w will be 2 2 0 0 so next line is the z will be w plus z okay so what is the z present z this is zero 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 so this will become two two zero 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 so that means after this line your z will be two two zero zero and what will be the y sir um, this function the circular shift circular shift means actually what will happen this will come here this one go here, this one go here, and this one go here. Yes. Is it okay? Yes, sir. It so, is. so your y will become look like zero two two zero. Is it okay? Yes. So y after this line, your y will look like zero two two zero. Is it okay? Yes, sir. So is what does the second you? argument mean? Zero and one. So actually, in which direction it will go? Because you can do the circular shift in this direction as well, isn't it? Yes, sir. Like this direction as well, like left, left direction as well. Okay, so that is the reason. Okay, okay. I am removing this. So what will be the oh, y and uh, z after this iteration? It is written there. Okay. Uh, so what is the y? Y will be zero two two zero, and what will be the z? Two two zero zero. Yes, sir. After the first iteration, what is the value of z? Z will be Two two zero zero and the value of y is zero two two zero. Okay. So now the second iteration. Yes, sir. What will be the key? Q will be a is two. What is the a is two? A is two is two. So W will be two into what is your y? Zero 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 two two zero. Isn't it? Yes. Sir. So this multiplication will be what? Zero four four zero four four zero. Okay, and this will uh, the next line will be z plus w. This will be added with z. What is your z? Two 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 zero zero. So if you add this to what will be your z? Two six four zero. Two six four zero. Is it okay to all of you? Yes, sir. Hundred and fifteen. Is it okay to you? Yes, sir. Yes, so your z will be replaced by this value. So the value will be 2640, isn't it? Yes, sir. And now in the next line, what will be your y? 
will be zero zero two two, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. yes. So you uh, you have to change your y as well. <coughs> this this will become. So what is the third iteration? What will be the queue in the third iteration? So it will be three. What will be the key in third iteration? Three. Three. And so uh, uh, you two, this will become zero zero six six, isn't it? Yes, sir. So now your Z will be zero zero six six plus two six four zero. So this will become two six ten six, isn't it? Yes, sir. Is it okay? Yes, sir. And your Y will become two zero zero two, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay. Now the, uh, this will be the end of this for loop, and next your Y will be equal to Z. So your Z is two six ten zero, two six ten zero, which is your output. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Is it clear to all of you? So this is one way of doing that uh, discrete convolution. There may be other way you can try with a different uh, algorithm for this code. Is it okay? To all yes, of you? Sir. Yes, sir. So now, uh, Rubio, uh, please mark the idea of 88. Okay, okay. And uh, if you have any question, you may stay or you may leave. Okay, if you don't have any question, sir, uh, I, I, I can stay if you have something. any question, sir. Sir, can you sir yes. explain the problems because uh, when we start to do the lab report, we face difficulties. The task mainly, sir. Okay, yeah. so uh, yeah. the tasks. So, Rubil, can you be uh, more specific here about yes. the uh, problem explanation of the problem. So I, I am stop sharing my screen. Okay, we will please. Okay, there are uh, four assignment there are, these are given here but no actually you are not understanding yes we cannot uh, tell you the how to do the code actually you have to think about that if you don't understand the english meaning we can translate that is the thing one and so task one a user defined function zeta deconf id ekhane id bolte ki bujhachhe your own id student id Okay. Sir. And, yes. and sir, uh, task three te it a key frequency separation, not key angular frequency separation no. on a frequency term in task three. Yes, sir. The frequency is separated, like you can see the, the we are doing the uh, like the three different signals, so these signals will be uh, uh, the separated by 2 into pi isn't it Rubin? okay in this case actually 2 pi whenever there is 2 pi i think that should be an angular frequency obviously that means uh what i think that after twice pi things will be repeating if i'm yes let me see that again yes 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 this is angular frequency obviously that means after twice pi, if if the, uh, if you see will that, be repeating, the, isn't yes. it? Yes, yes, yes. That means two signals that are separated by uh, twice pi. Later uh, for a frequency, if we have a we have a certain signal that has a frequency, and we have another frequency uh, frequency that is uh, separated by twice pi, multiple of twice pi. So that particular frequency uh, signal and this signal will be identical. You need to prove that one. You have you have a, a signal with frequency uh, let us say uh, 100 
and then you have another signal price uh, uh, like um, multiple of uh, multiple of price pi. So these two signals are identical. You need to show that. So this is a is proof, a, isn't it? This is a yes, proof. yes, yes, yes. And uh, uh, I should say that the frequencies, SS frequency, are separated by an integer multiple of price pi. So whatever you are taking the frequency. If you take angular frequency in one case, you should take an angular frequency in another case. That is the thing. What I understand, and that is very very simple thing to understand. I think. Whatever we are taking, so one forty five. Have you asked this question? No, one forty five. One thirty eight. One thirty eight. Yes, sir. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think? Like you are multiplying twice pi, that is the integer multiple of twice pi. But whatever you are taking the frequency, that that those two signals should be identical. And thing is that during uh, whenever uh, Rula Mesa has discussed about the uh, discrete time signal, maybe he has uh, said that thing earlier that if two signals, uh, those two in this in the discrete time signal, those two signals will be similar or identical if we have they are integer multiple of. Uh, twice. Five. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. And the next one again another proof. Okay. So again, uh, there are two signal that is provided. So uh, to prove that that this one is a periodic and the other is a periodic, that will be enough. It's written here in the hints. It is okay, Saki. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, is there any question more? No, sir. And Robin, when they need to submit this? Uh, uh, maybe we have only one week left before the meet, and I think uh, as the the syllabus of the meet will not be uh, covered in the final, also they need to take preparation. We can give a break of uh, the next. Yes, week. yes. Thank so you, sir. Next week so, there will you, be no gap, so. The, oh, so when, uh, the, when the when the uh, um, I should what should I say the mid term exam will finish twenty one twenty uh, first or the twenty first maybe sir twenty first of November yes sir yes sir so it will start from when nine, uh, nine the ninth November sir nine to twenty first okay okay, so, okay after then the, then after the, yes 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 uh, we will start on twenty third isn't it. Alipay. Yes. Immediately, yes, immediately after the meet. Okay. Yes, twenty third. Uh, and they have the lab again at thirty uh, of November. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So like As one, we are one month sir. apart. So lab B one will attend that lab. Yes, sir. Okay, they they will they will let me know. No problem. But for your case, your deadline for submitting the lab report is twenty second. Sir, if you should. पढ़े बाईस ना दिए सर तेईस बार चौबीस तारीख के लिए बेटा मैंने सर मैंने जस्ट रुबल आई थिंक आई थिंक बिकॉज़ आफ्टर हैविंग द मिडटर्म एग्जाम फिनिश एट ट्वेंटी वन गिव देम दैट वी मेक द डेटलाइन नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी नाइन यस सर सर ओके 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 ट्वेंटी नाइन नेक्स्ट वीक की बी वन लैब हो सर हम लोग बोल रहे मिडियर जो ना फाग no, there will Achha, be no lab. Uh, Galipai, B1 is already having their deadline on, on, on uh, I think they are having a deadline on uh, 1st of November. Yes, sir. The other section is having the deadline of 1st of November. Is that okay? I think that is sir, okay. If, if they request, then, then, uh, then, uh, you, you, can, you can change. But if they don't request... <laughs> sir, Odir, sir, 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 अच्छा <laughs> सांडे तो देर जोन मतलब फास्ट नवंबर है देर जोन में तादें रेडी हो जाओ बता अच्छा ताले बाईस और उन्तीस को रेडी बोलते हैं तो जी सर ओके 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 तुम्हारे कोनो क्वेश्चन इफ यू डोंट हैव एनी क्वेश्चन प्लीज 
लिंक एंड इफ यू हैव क्वेश्चन प्लीज आ